Mmm, you've got to do some soul searching. What's up? Someone in there? Are you right there? Hey, what's going on, man? It's your favorite waffle color, brother A. Dizzle. Uh, back one more game with another session of Soul Searching. Now, this time around, we're going to be highlighting a very uh, important shoe in my collection, and that's the Air Jordan Retro 9, but not just any Retro 9. It's the 2010 release, and it's the uh, the white, black, and the uh, university blue trim action. These are one of my favorite pairs of sneakers. First of all, I'm a sucker for anything blue, especially, you know, Carolina uh, University blue, however you would like to deem it. Um, I just love that color blue. Uh, for some reason, the powder blue. I mean, I guess like they're like one and the same to me, but uh, anything in that variety of hues is just, it just gets me every time. Now, I got these back in uh, 2010. Um, my girlfriend Janelle actually got these for me for Christmas back then. Uh, well, she's not my fiance. What up, baby? Um, and she knew, I, she knew I wanted these sneakers. She knew it. She just knew it, knew it, knew it. Because I've been talking about them. Like, I got to get those. I got to get those. And then open Christmas Day. Boom. It's the box. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I got them. And I was so just ecstatic. Just ecstatic about about the artwork, about the about the sneaker that I could add to my collection because I just love them and I wanted them so bad. And I never had never had a pair of nines either. But so this was my first pair of nines, and that made it even more exclusive, more just official to me. But hold up, quick story. Reason I didn't already have uh, those shoes for myself was because uh, when they were released, um, I was just so emphatic about them, and I was broke. I didn't have the the funds to get the sneaker. So that summer, uh, you know, Janelle and I had first gotten together, and I knew she was a sneakerhead, you know what I'm saying? We was a match made in heaven. I actually went to the store, and I couldn't afford mine. But I'm like, you know what? This would be a dope present to get her, and maybe it'll just make her feel good. Like, yeah, I got a good, I got a good dude. He, he lacing me up. He keeping me fresh. And so I went, and she, she could wear the kids' section sneakers. Thank God for my pockets back then. So I went, and I literally scrounged up 60 bucks. I, I, I had, that's all I had. I literally, I was living at home with my parents. It was the summer uh, in between freshman and sophomore year, or sophomore more in junior year of college, scrapped up 60 bucks, went to the kid's spot, got these sneakers uh, in what are they, they, they are size 7 youth that she could wear, and these were my gift, these were my first pair of sneakers that I ever bought Janelle, these are the 7 youth, and then a few months later, lo and behold, she gets me the same Johns, and we've had them ever since, you know what I'm saying, we take pictures in them, we get fresh, we do the couple thing, um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of reasons why I love the Retro 9s, but there's even more reasons why I love this specific pair of Retro 9s. Now the sneaker was a oops. Now the sneaker was originally released back in 1994. Um, then it was re-released on May 29th, 2010, and I couldn't have been more happy. Um, I mean, there, there's so much detail on it. Just look at the stitching on the side right there. Then you get the 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 blue trim, and it almost comes in like a. It's almost very wavy. Uh, and you even get the the lines in that. Come to the bottom. I don't know whose are dirtier. I've worn mine a lot. They're pretty equal. Um, she's obviously you know done her part for hers as well. Uh, but if you see mine, I got a couple scuffs on there. I know exactly when those happened too, and I was so mad. I was so outraged. But I let it slide. Then, then you get the you get the two three on the back. You even get more. Uh, you even get more of a, a design in between, like or inside that little uh, that little rubber the little rubber logo action. Yeah, I don't know if you can. For some reason, my camera don't be liking to get up close and personal sometimes. I've just spent too much money on it and whatnot, and it won't even get up close. Uh, you see mine. I've worn the stitching out a little bit as it's coming off, uh, but it doesn't matter because I'm never selling these Johns. Boom. Even the lacing, even the lacing structure, like I love that. Um, it's just, it just looks good. You get the mesh right here. Your foot can breathe. The shoe is extremely comfortable because it, it first of all, it, it grabs your foot, but it also allows you room to breathe. It's almost like how can it do those two things at once? I don't know, but it does it amazingly. What I also like is that you actually get like real like hard plastic uh, johns for your shoelaces to go in between. So it's not like a material and you can't rip them. Your shoelaces are gonna stay tied and tight and never coming out of these little. Uh, these little holders right here. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Shmoney, shmoney, shmoney. Then if you can see, it's almost like a shoe inside of a shoe. You know what I'm saying? Like you see that little I don't even, I'm, I'm going the wrong way and all that, but there's like there's like a little there's like a little like sole structure in here inside of the extra shoe, so it's a lot of it's, it's more extra cushion, but it's kind of thin. It's this uh it's uh I don't even know what material it is, but it's thin, so it allows your shoe to your foot to breathe, but it does give you that extra that extra padding and extra support. I also like how they you know they accented it with the uh, with the university blue right there on the inside as well, even though you don't see it as much. Then you come back out and it's black. Um, I just love the combo uh, the combination of colors. I think they go very well together. 
Uh, and I think this shoe is is overall one of the dopest uh, the dopest nines made. Obviously, for my personal my personal bias, and it, it is what it is. But I, I think a lot of people would probably would probably agree with me. All right, it's the uh, it's the Jordan Retro Nine 2010 release, University Blue. If you don't have this one in your collection. Like, if you really don't have it, if you don't, what other size, you know what I'm saying? If you had to get the small size because you was broke at the time like myself. If you don't have it, you're super slacking on your pimp because of Cop Up! Mm -hmm. You've got to do some soul searching.